CTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening. Thank you for being here. We begin tonight near Nanus Bay, where the fight to save a forest has turned into a standoff. Conservationists and area homeowners have shut down a logging project just days after the trees began to fall. The eco-friendly activists are pleased that they've been able to silence the chainsaws, but as CTV Scott Cunningham reports, they are threatening the livelihood of a First Nations band that has won a provincial contract to log the area. That's probably 500 years old. Annette Tanner wasn't able to save this ancient giant, but she is determined to save the rest in a 160-acre patch of crown land just outside of Danus Bay. Yesterday and this morning, a team of protesters stopped logging operations in the diverse swath of forest and wetlands, but most here are upset it has come to this. The eco-crusaders had fought to stop logging altogether for two years, but the province went ahead and allowed selective cutting in the region. It's just a criminal Clark government act, and I don't know what else to call it. I truly believe that we're uh, doing something that's extremely unwise and not serving us in the end. Now that they've actually started the logging, I just, I, I feel heartbroken. I just can't believe the destruction, and this is really only just the beginning. The forest did not escape from several days of logging without scars. Protesters say the province originally thought this forest did not have coastal Douglas fir, but the Wilderness Committee says the towering relics exist here and will disappear without intervention. We don't want to see this forest ruined. This is our, our clean air, our drinking water, um, it, it's a crime. While activists have had early success shutting down logging just days into the operation, there is another side to saving BC's old growth. Our options when it comes to taking resources off of our traditional territory are limited to just provincial and uh, crown uh, parcels of land and district lot 33 is a piece of provincial property. And As protesters fought the province over logging this land for the past two years, the Nanus First Nation fought to win a contract to log it. The small First Nation is struggling financially and needs the capital the project can provide to keep their community together. Money they are at risk of losing. There was a bunch of guys out of work today, a bunch of right so um, I'm sure they're uh, not exactly happy on the parcel of land protesters are sympathetic to the plight of the First Nations but not willing to relinquish land they have taken back you can come up with money somewhere else but you cannot replace this kind of forest these trees are older than anybody living right now you can't replace that and we're down to the last. Activists say they will not stop fighting over control of the land, while the Nanus First Nation say they need to get back to work and are considering police and government help to do so. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Nanus Bay.